हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द अमेजिंग वर्ड ऑफ एडुपीडिया वर्ड वीडियोस वर्चुअल वर्ड फ्री एजुकेशन इन दिस वीडियो वील बी लर्निंग सम इक्वेशंस दैट आर नॉट एक्चुअली लीनियर दैट इज अ नॉन लीनियर पेयर एंड कन्वर्टिंग दैम टू लीनियर पेयर इक्वेशंस बाय प्रॉपर मॉडिफिकेशन friends by linear pair we mean a pair in which each equation has degree equal to 1 thus in simple words we will be converting a not degree 1 pair to a degree 1 pair say for example we have 2 by x plus 3 by y equals 6, and 1 by 6x plus 1 by 2y equals 1 by 5. Clearly, it is not a linear pair because none of the equation has degree equal to 1. friends if we look at 2 by x it can be written as 2 into 1 over 1 into x that is 2 into 1 by x similarly 1 by 6x can be written as 1 by 6 into 1 by x thus the given pair can be modified or changed as 2 into 1 by x plus 3 into 1 by y equals 6 and 1 by 6 into 1 by x plus 1 by 2 into 1 by y equals 1 by 5 now if in place of these variables some degree 1 variable is present then we can say that the given pair is a linear pair though there is no degree 1 variable present but we can substitute a degree 1 variable in place of the given variables that is we can put 1 by x equal to say a variable u and 1 by y as a variable v thus the given pair of equations 1 and 2 becomes 2 into u plus 3 into v equals 6 and 1 by 6 u plus 1 by 2 v equals 1 by 5 clearly we have attained our motive that is we have converted the given pair into a linear pair equation now this pair say named by hash can be solved by any method like graphical or substitution method or elimination method or cross multiplication method say the solution is a comma b after solving the given pair this solution friends is the solution of u and v that is u and v equals a comma b but the original question was to find x and y so we can use this substitution part which we have made by ourselves to find the value of x and y 1 by x by the substitution is u implies that x is 1 by u and similarly y is 1 by v 
if u equals a, v equals b, then 1 by u equals 1 by a and 1 by v equals 1 by b. Thus, x that is 1 by u is 1 by a and y that is 1 by v is 1 by b. Oh, the solution of the given equation is 1 by a and 1 by b where a and b are solution of pair or linear pair hash this one similarly we can have another example say 4x plus 3 by y equals 8 and 2x plus 1 by y equals 1. Now here the first term that is x the variable is having degree 1 but the second variable is not having degree 1 and thus we need to multiply the second variable. So the equation can be changed as 4x plus 3 into 1 by y equals 8 and 2x plus 1 by y equals 1. Thus substitute 1 by y as a variable say v. We get 4x plus 3v equals 8 and 2x plus v equals 1. Thus, we have attained a linear pair here. Say, after solving by any means, graphical or algebraical, we have find out the solution as a and b. Now, this again is solution of the variables involved in this pair, that is x and v. But, we have to find x and y. y is nothing but reciprocal of v because 1 by y is v. Thus, 1 by v is b. Sorry, 1 by b. Thus, x comma y equals a and 1 by b where a and b are the solution of this modified pair. Let us have one more example of performing modification of a nonlinear pair into a linear pair. Say 6 over x plus y plus 2 over x minus y equals 4 and 7 over x plus y minus 9 over x minus y equals 3. This pair can also be modified as 6 into 1 over x plus y plus 2 into 1 over x minus y equals 4 and 7 into 1 over x plus y minus 9 into 1 over x minus y equal to 3. Now again substitute the variable 1 over x plus y as u and 1 over x minus y as v. The equations become 6u plus 2 v equals 4 and 7u minus 9 of v equals 3. Let the solution of this pair of linear equations be a comma b. Thus we have find out u comma v as a comma b but we have to find out again x and y which can be find out by this substitution. 
that is x plus y is nothing but 1 over u and x minus y is nothing but 1 over v 1 over u is 1 over a and 1 over v is 1 over b thus we get again a linear pair as x plus y equals 1 by a and x minus y equals 1 by b so we have to solve this pair again and find out the values of x and y there will be another question 6 over under root x plus 1 over under root y equals 9 and 5 over under root x minus 1 over under root y equals 7 as clearly we can put here 6 into u plus v equals 9 and 5u minus v equals 7 that is u substituted as 1 by under root x and v substituted as 1 by under root v y so if the solution of this pair is a comma b we have u and y as a comma b thus from these two equations u square is 1 by x and v square is 1 by y that is x is 1 over u square and y is 1 over v square now 1 over u square from this part is 1 by a square and 1 over v square is 1 by b square thus we have x comma y as 1 by a square and 1 by b square where a and b are the solution of this pair let us have a last example say x plus say x plus y equals 2xy and 2x minus 3y equals 5xy now there is no problem in the first two terms as they are one degree term but this particular term on the right hand side has degree 2 therefore it is a non-linear pair as a whole the pair has degree 2 thus we can't solve it by linear means in this form however if we divide each equation by xy we get x over xy plus y over xy equals 2 over xy over xy that is we have divided all the equation by xy thus each term will be divided by xy the first equation becomes x gets cancelled by x similarly y gets cancelled by y here xy get cancelled by xy thus we are left with a simpler equation as 1 by y plus 1 by x equals 2 similarly dividing the second equation by xy we get this situation which is nothing but 2 over y minus 3 over x equals 5 friends why this division has not changed the equation 
is a simple reason say we have 4 equal to 4 which is always true now if we divide both equations both the sides by any term say 2 we get 4 divided by 2 equals 4 divided by 2 which means 2 equals 2 so this situation is always true thus both the equations are true hence the equality is maintained in this division process and hence we can divide both sides of the equations by same term so this particular pair has become the pair which we have learnt in the first question that is substitute 1 by x as u and 1 by y as v and solve for u and v and then resubstitute the value of u and v here to get the value of x and y thus all in all we have studied that if we are provided with a non-linear pair, make proper substitutions as this like substituting 1 by x equal to u or 1 by x plus y equal to u or 1 by under root x equal to u and similarly for v and then solve u and v and resubstitute the values where you have made the substitution. So friends, that's all for now. Thanks for watching Edupedia Word Videos.